hello people welcome back to this channel um, today is 28th of um, June and um, you see this video tagged as a weekly review and you might be tempted to to skip the video now regardless of the time you see this you might be seeing this next month next two months next year and um, you might not want to watch the video because it's tagged a weekly review but do not do that it's it's very this this video is will be very important because um, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things, a lot of opportunities in the forex market, a lot of things that has played out. Remember, as a technical analyst, the forex market is all about repetition. What you've seen play out today is going to play out next week, it's going to play out next month, it's going to play out next year. So I'm, I'll be incorporating a lot of discussions into this weekly review. I'm going to be looking at um, something we talked about earlier. We talked about the ascending triangle patterns. Now I'm going to be showing you live what happened with with them. Um, with the USD against the Canadian dollar, there was a live US um, a tri a ascending triangle pattern that formed on the USD against the Canadian dollar, which uh, probably some, a lot of people won't have seen. But I'm going to be showing you and how we how we cut in on an entry on a 15 minute time frame and how there is still more opportunities to come. So, as I said earlier, no matter the time you're seeing this, watch this so you know what happened and how you can use this when you see this play out some other time. So. Above all, I'm going to be also reviewing some, some other currencies which started, which started last week already. We looked at some pairs. I'm also going to be continuing another discussion to show you what has happened and what will happen in the coming week. I also talk about some, some terms like the like the midweek reversal. Now uh, I'm sure some of you don't know what that is. I'll also run through that in the course of this video, show you what the midweek reversal is. So Above all, I hope you make money this week. I am sure you're going to make money if you stick to to, to your, your your trading plan and be disciplined. Very important. So, I hope you get value for this video. Remember to hit that subscribe icon. Thanks. <laughs> So picking off with um, Great Britain pounds against the US dollar, and um, congratulations to you if you if you, if you stop by, if you mean them, um, exit the video because this is going to be very very educative. I'm going to show you a lot of things in this video. So GBP USD, what happened to GBP USD last week? Remember I said GBP USD was going to be a sell, and I hope you didn't get into early. Hope you didn't get into the. I hope you have to wait for a good setup before you opt in on that. Um, that sell opportunity. So you can see USD, USD. I, aside from my other analysis I gave during um, last, if you haven't seen the last video, please kindly go and do it so you understand. So this is like a review of the market outlook that happened last week. So yes, yeah, you do be USD. I've been forming a downtrend pattern, high, a low. You can see a lower high than this, and then another low, which is lower than this low so we have a high we have a low we have a lower high we also have a lower low so that is an indication of a downtrend and then market went up again and forms this high it's actually lower than this high so we have a confirmed downtrend so what happened last week when the market opened the market shot up went all the way up and then it didn't reverse, it didn't sell until it got to this point, which is the, the new high, is lower. Now, during Wednesdays, that's why most traders don't trade on Mondays, some don't trade on, on um, Fridays as well, they don't enter new positions. Probably what they do is if they have an old position, they just hold it through those days. But Mondays are usually chubby, Mondays are usually chubby. So that's why it's good to wait. So most people trade Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays alone. They enter new positions those days. Some of them just trade only those days. So what happened here was a midweek reversal. Most times, if you look at your chart, run through your charts, you see you notice that most reversals open on Wednesdays. So it is start a midweek reversal. Start a midweek reversal. A midweek reversal was what happened to the Great Britain pounds against the US dollar this week. You can see this was, this was on Wednesday. This was Monday. All this place is Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, and then we had a midweek reversal. Our market went all the way down. So, great opportunity on Wednesday. To those for those who sold everything pounds against the USD. So, so if you can as well mark up your Fibonacci retracement to this high and this low. So let's see at what level 
didn't get to. So remember, this is like um, a revision. We have to run through a lot of things. So you draw your Fibonacci level, this and this. So what level did you get to? Got to this, almost touched the 61 level. My fib, my fib is not so clear, so I'm going to try and, and change the properties so you can, I know this, and change the properties of the fib. Fibonacci properties, let's change the color. Let's make this old. The fib levels also, let's change it. Yellow is not so clear. Let's make it green. Maybe you're seeing this so you can know how to do yours as well. So great. So here we have the Fibonacci level. I'll move this to this side. Then I'll leave it on the body, not on the wig. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's put let's put them on the bodies, not the wig. So you see here. So we had a touch of the 61 level. Had a touch of the 61 level. 61.1, 61.8 level of Fibonacci level held. And as, I, as I said in my video, if you've not seen the video that I talked about how to use Fibonacci adjustment to please go and see this on my channel. You see it and you see how to use it. So if you see one point eight level is one of the levels I trust very well. That I believe when price goes gets there, it reverses. So if you had done that, you'd have caught in on a very good sell from this 61.8 level and then boom. So basically, GBUSD still has some more downsides to do this week. I, still, I just I look at it going up, but not so far, because it just broke out of this zone and it's doing a bit of a, a retesting before it keeps going back down. So always wait for confirmation. So let me insert this um, this shape, a rectangle shape to show you that zone. So this zone, this is the zone. Price broke through, closed below, and then we're seeing a little back to the retest, and then we'll probably have more downside. So, looking forward to a sell on GBP against the US dollar. Always use the confirmation before you enter the trade. So, without wasting much time, I'm going to go to the next pair, which is the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. So, this um, has a lot of potentials for the buy coming weeks. Has a lot of potential. If you haven't seen my previous video in the weekly outlook video of last week, I talked about all the confirmations I have seen and why it was going to buy. And I explained, I did all the explanation. I wouldn't do that here. I won't do that video. I won't do that explanation here. If you haven't seen the other video, please go see it. You understand. I talked about the hot stop hunt, which happened, this which happened, which was a level level, and then we had a level one rise. I also talked about this range zone and how price was going to come and activate all the stop, all the stop sell stops that were placed below the range zone. And that happened, the price went all the way to the end, to the bottom of this range, and then boom, took out all, activated all the sell stops and then went up. So if you haven't seen that video, look at it, you see, you understand what, what I mean perfectly. And also check my video on how to trade the news so you understand what happened here. Yeah, you understand that. So going on to more confirmations for the USD against the Canadian dollar, I'm going to show you this pattern on the 15 minutes time frame, the ascending triangle pattern, which um, I explained in detail in one of my videos. Please kindly, you can just go to the channel, you see all the videos, it's all listed there. So I'm going to show you on my slide. I have doing screenshots on my phone when these were playing out. So I hope this explains to you better. Now, this is what the ascending triangle pattern looks like. Well explained in my other video, which I dedicated to ascending triangle and descending triangle. Go look it up. I won't go through all the details. Now, if you can see USD Canadian dollar last week, this happened on, on Friday. This happened on Friday. We had uptrend, touch, back to trend line, touch, back to trend line and then we had a touch again and then I drew I drew this zone and put it on our telegram group those those of us that are on the telegram group I am sure some of people a lot of us have caught this by right from here. So I, I marked this up this is I took this screenshot that that's when this was happening. So and then what happened next? Price comes to that trend line and boom price goes up. 
back to the back to the resistance zone and then i just knew this is the point where price will break through this zone I haven't had this third touch of the trend line and what happens next we had a boom price blast through that resistance resistance zone and remember we're talking about the ascending triangle once you have a break you most likely have a retest of that broken zone before price continues to go up and what happens before the market close as expected price comes down does a retest of that broken resistance zone and price is going to continue going up usd kind of dollar is going to continue going up this is a great opportunity for you to catch in on this buy and W account, W accounts. Remember, always wait, wait for a safe entry. I hope well, this candle kind of had closed already. So this is this is a good impulse move. This is a good movement. That I'm sure the USD card is going to probably do this and then continue to go up. So, so guys, uh, that's it for the USD against the Canadian dollar. So be on the lookout for that opportunity. I, I hope you understand this this um, ascending triangle pattern. If you don't, please um, look at the previous video where I explained it in detail. And if you still don't get it, you can chat me up. My number is in one of those videos, or you can just make, leave a comment on this video. I'm gonna add it to our group, or, or I'll give you my phone number so we can talk directly. All for free. I'm not charging you, I'm not charging anyone anything to learn all of this. I wouldn't do that. So great, let's um so that's for USA against the Canadian dollar. And then we'll quickly look at um, gold. What happened to gold this week? I, as I mentioned, I said gold was going to continue going up. I wouldn't be looking for opportunities to sell gold at all. No matter how far it dives, it dives, I'm still going to be buying gold. So gold did all of this, gave this all these plenty of weeks, which were indications of rejection. And I was sure price was going to go up. And what happened next? Everybody is buying. So what, what do they have to do? This was the market makers move. What they had to do? They had to sell, pump, pump, because everybody I was buying, including myself, my stop loss was around here. So they pumped it, hit all stop losses, and what happened? The price went all the way up. So, and if you can box up your your range zone on the on gold, do that yourself. I've, I've, I've showed it to you before, but I'm going to still run through that on this video. So you can see you have a range here, so you can box it up. And do we have a close above the above the range? If your answer is yes, then it is safe to buy to buy gold. You can see the range. This is the range. This is on the one hour time frame. Let me go to a few minutes time frame. Zoom out. Let's see that range. So you can see. You can see that range zone. Yeah. Remember. All this move was just to take out all the stop losses that were below this range zone and activate all the sell stop that were below the range zone. So, so we have this this range, and price is now going up. But wait for confirmation. Make sure price has closed way above that zone before you get in on that buy. But gold is definitely a buy. Gold is definitely a buy. So uh, I've been able to explain what consolidation or which is also known as range means how to trade it breakouts and sell a lot of people would have done that here unfortunately gold did respect that gold just comes all the way acts as if it broke out i am sure after this you can see this this is this is i mentioned it earlier this is called an order block i need to have someone that understands this better to come give a lecture on that on my channel sometime definitely get that so you see this big candle see this big push you see the seat a lot of people think oh gold has broken out of the range and it's going to continue selling and after this candle closes they hit the sell but what happens it shows them a little profit you can see this week little profit so people might even add up more sell more sell orders and what happened price goes up hits all their stop loss and it's still going up so this is an was an order block just show you this big candle you believe is going to sell but Nah, continue going the way they want. So that's it for gold. And quickly, I want to look at the um, kind of like against the Japanese yen. So it still it still hasn't played out as expected, but I still expect it to break through this zone and sell. I still expect it to do that. So we'll be waiting for it to do that. Remember, I, I drew it in our previous the previous video on the weekly review. Marked out this zone. Marked out this zone. I'm going to wait till price breaks out very well from this zone and then hop on on that sale. But now price is still flirting around the zone. 
still accumulation, still getting buys, getting sales, and accumulating before it goes the way it wants to go. So guys, that, that's it for, for, for this week. And um, be sure to wait for this setup to play out very well before you, you hop on in the buy and the sell. So remember to hit that subscribe icon if you haven't. If you have any question, do not hesitate to ask me on the comment section. I'm going to reply you. If you want to, if you want to join our group on Telegram, kindly let me know and I'll add you. I'll send you the link so you join us on Telegram. So guys, that will be it for now. Remember to stay safe and um, wash your hands. The coronavirus, not the hawks, it is real. It's out there. So guys, take care and um, bye.